Russ Grab thinks very carefully before he leaves the house. You're constantly scared to death. It's, as I always say, it's like soaking in the bathtub with someone standing beside you with a plugged-in toaster. If at any moment they accidentally drop it in, they're fine, you're dead. In April, he was diagnosed with a rare and incurable form of leukemia. He underwent chemotherapy, which has left him immunocompromised. And while he wishes everyone could have their vaccine tomorrow, he understands it's complicated. Bonnie Henry and the minister are doing a fantastic job. In my view, they're threading a very delicate needle with a 90 kilometer an hour crosswind. A crosswind of complications includes supply and demand. Many in Grab's position are disappointed. The province believes there are about 180,000 people with severe conditions like cancer and pulmonary conditions who won't be eligible until at least April. But Dr. Bonnie Henry says there is a balance, including gathering of more evidence on the effect of the vaccine on those with underlying conditions. It is all about marrying a vaccine that we have with risk that we have. So they are absolutely a group of people that are at risk and that we have taken special precautions to protect, whether it's in uh, communities, in their home, in their access to health care. But there are other groups who are hoping to be sooner. Well, we have a sense of disappointments in the sense that we've been moved from phase two to phase three in the timeline. Firefighters say they understand the need to vaccinate those more vulnerable, but wish they had been given some more priority. Our, our members right across this province uh, are exposed uh, every day in working, interacting with the public in a variety of unknown environments. Uh, our people are at risk. Another group disappointed? teachers. In a statement, the BCTF says like many others, they will be disappointed to see there is no prioritization for the frontline workers who have kept our schools, public services and economy open. They understand the most at risk of dying must be first, but if there isn't any more priority given to teachers, they must have mandatory mask mandates, we must have better physical distancing measures and we must have ventilation upgrades for our classrooms. The Premier says they have been inundated with groups wanting the vaccine sooner. Almost every sector uh, in the economy I received mail uh, a couple of inches thick uh, from advocates saying that their particular sector, their particular profession uh, deserved a higher priority and all of the arguments were very compelling. Every component of our society is important, but the science is pretty clear. Dr. Henry, Dr. Ballam have made that clear today. Age is the, prom that is the dominant determinant factor. For Russ Grab, his illness has taught him to look for the positives in life. Over the course of histories, most vaccination rollouts are two to four years. For us to be getting any option, any chance at a vaccine within the first year is a miracle. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Vancouver.